All right, everybody, this is Katrina here with another video. And today we're gonna do a walkthrough of one of our clients, Immaculate Soft Wash. We're basically gonna take you through a tour of some of the things that we've been doing for them in the last few months. They've been a long-term client for, I believe about two to three years, maybe like two, two and a half years. Um, and we're gonna go through you know, some of their more recent content, right? Cause it's important to know um, what we've been doing lately, not just what we did in the past, right? So we're gonna go through and show you some videos and some reels as well. Um, just kind of give you a rundown of what we're doing for them and why kind of give you an idea as to our methodology for getting our clients exposure online, especially in the cleaning industry. So this is a soft washing company. If you have a soft washing company or a pressure washing company, there's going to be some, you know, apples to apples similarities for you. Of course, um, I do think pest control and tree removal companies can greatly, um, could greatly, greatly find um, information from this, um, something to take home from this. So we're going to get right into it here in a second. So first of all, I just want to give like a little background on me in case this is the first time that you are meeting us. My name is Katrina. I'm the owner of COS Marketing Agency. I've been in marketing for over a decade. I started out in sales and doing social media for other companies. Um, also myself, I built my own social platform on different, different um, platforms, but mainly Facebook, LinkedIn. LinkedIn was a big thing for us starting out and YouTube. And since then we've branched out to uh, Twitter, now called X, Instagram, even smaller, quote, smaller social media sites like Alignable or Nextdoor. And then we started branching out more into the search engine side of things because it became clear that social media helps with a lot of different things, so many different things, but it does have some limitations. So now we have become a full service agency with people working for us. We have three to five people usually on every single project, sometimes less if it's a smaller mom and pop business or we're just coaching them. So we started out literally from the bottom and here we, here we are guys. Um, so that's like a little background on me. I have different posts um, with more of a deep dive on, on my background or what my team's up to. So you're welcome to look at that. We'll link to a playlist um, at the end of this video. All right, so, and today we're gonna mostly focus on the social media content side of things. Photography and videography is something that we are super, super passionate about. Um, and it's important to have your own content if you can, guys. I strongly, strongly suggest that for everyone, no matter the industry. But I do think if you have a cleaning company in particular, seeing is believing. You wanna see those before and afters. And there's just something about having a high quality kind of image or video that just resonates better with your audience. It looks more professional. You don't get as many price shoppers when you do that. That's one, uh, that's one thing that numerous clients, other than this one in particular, have mentioned to us. That it's usually a situation where they're, they're getting calls, but they're not getting enough calls, um, and things are kind of stagnant. We usually work with uh, businesses that are somewhat established. So at any rate, th this client had an issue with people calling that were just kind of price shopping, or um, their HOA came, came a knock in, the HOA called them or sent a letter and it's like, oh, okay, fine, I'll finally clean my roof. Um, now there are more commercial businesses contacting him, larger residential businesses that want regular upkeep um, and you know, periodic cleaning monthly or every couple of months. And in soft washing, you know, a lot of people are are lucky to um, have somebody come back at all, let alone several times a year. So, you know, getting better quality clients is something that's very important to this uh, particular client and in general, especially for cleaning companies. All right, so um, these are only recent changes. We've done a lot for this client over the years, so don't think this is kind of limited to what we are capable of doing or what we've done for this particular client. I also don't want this video to be hours long. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, so at any rate, in the last few months, we added in a new video um, on their their website. As you can see here from that thumbnail that popped up in the end is, is also embedded and connected in YouTube. 
So that means anytime somebody's watching this um, on the site, whether they're kind of doing it haphazardly or they're actually, you know, in inspecting it and, you know, taking it all in, it does count as a view on YouTube. So it's a cool way that we kind of synergistically and holistically put that together and one thing feeds off of the other. That's the thing with us is that we, we like to integrate things together. These are not separate campaigns. Your website is absolutely connected to social media that's connected to search, it's connected to everything else, right? A lot of companies, they just kind of focus on one area and that's fine, but you gotta see the bigger picture there. Okay, so that just kind of goes on a loop. Most people kind of see that, they drop down, they go to where they wanna go in the navigation menu. And um, what are some other new features that we added? Because this website is by and large um, similar in terms of look and approach. It's very much like an online brochure, which is what they want. The major things that we've added more recently in general are just more video on the site. This is another thing that's embedded from YouTube. This is one of their more recent um, outdoor cleaning things that they did um, in Orlando. They did a full cleaning of this one. I think it was... Um, roof siding gutters like the whole nine yards so that's a really good example so if this doesn't this video doesn't get you you don't click on that you, you'll probably click on this with the arrow the thumbnail uh, but lo and behold you click on it and you know you're in youtube so um also there's like upbeat music i don't know if you guys can can uh hear it through the audio um because i have it focused on my voice but you know if you go on their their website which is immaculatesoftwash.com you can see all this um, let's see what else that's more recent. This is not as recent, but Facebook did an update, so we had to do some optimization on his Facebook. This chat integration is connected to Facebook or Meta, and it requires a little bit of upkeep, but it's good. It kind of incorporates some automation, but with, with it having some real-world components, it's a nice little hybrid, which we like. Um, so the owner gets a message, but there are certain automated things that if it's like cut and dry, what are your hours, what areas do you service, stuff like that, it's able to answer certain things like that, and it'll still send it to the owner so the owner can see it. And um, typically, if I don't see somebody responding in a few hours or less, I will reach out to them to make sure that they, you know, contact the lead. And usually this particular uh, client is very responsive. If you're directly contacting him, He'll, you know, he'll, he'll answer you right away. It's just the, you know, the management and the upkeep of all, of all of this is what he has us for. So it makes perfect sense. And, um, you know, they've gotten some more, um, seals of approval, if you will, um, over the years. So, you know, we added those, those badges there. What's going to get updated the most, cause this is a very established client for years. Um, what's going to be updated more, most often is definitely the blogs. Now, right now they're doing like one or two blogs a month. We have some other things that we're working on and building up. Um, they wanna do more on-site videography, they've done some. Um, so we have some stepping stones to get to before we do more blogs, but even just doing one a month has been super helpful. Um, we connect those to their YouTube videos. It gives us more YouTube content to talk about and it gets us ranking in these keywords. So this particular client, um, has always been able to do commercial. Actually, his uh, equipment is very state of the art. His soft wash equipment is very, very high end. Um, a lot of proprietary stuff in there. Um, so the fact that he's been doing residential this time, the for this whole time, has been um, partially because he just wasn't sure how to tap into that commercial market, and that's kind of what he got into. Or, or residential rather, but commercial is always where he wanted to branch out to. Um, there's a lot more moving parts to that. It could be harder to close those deals, but the, those are the bigger, more consistent deals. And that's kind of a good stepping stone to other things, you know? So right now we're kind of doing like a, I, I don't know if I would say 50-50 mix, but close to that of residential and commercial. Eventually he, he may go full commercial. We're, we're testing the waters here. And blogs like this allow us to do that to see what kind of traffic we can generate from it. And if it's even something his audience wants, we connect it with uh, YouTube as well, like we see here. And that's turned into an ad. So there are um, ads being shown on YouTube with this, advertising that he cleans um, doctor's offices, clinics, and, and things like that. So, um, you know, like, and the, and the thing is too, is that this is, evergreen it's only 
going to gain in value over time. It's not something that is dependent on the week or the month that we're in or anything like that or a season. You know, like we do a lot of hurricane um, related things because it's very important to the cleaning industry, but it has a shelf life. There's only a certain amount of months a year where we have to worry about hurricanes. So um, this is kind of like our preference when we're focusing on new services, but we're not quite ready to add it to another page or do it to like full tilt. It makes for good blog content. It still gets people to the website and gets them talking and it gets us ranking for these keywords. In the back of this blog, there are a lot of keywords and optimization things we're doing for Google search and on the front end, I can't show you and on the back end uh, is like a Swiss army knife to be honest. So, um, you know, me personally, I, I handle more of the design elements and I do the direction and the leading more than the keywording. I save that to the experts and the keyword smiths on our team. All right, and here's our Facebook. So we are the most active on Facebook, um, bar none. I would say eventually YouTube will be the one, but you know, it's more upkeep, it takes more time. So it's a little bit more expensive for them. They're going for a very aggressive approach of Facebook to be, you know, both saturating the market and to be, you know, somewhat cost effective, right? So, and it's been working out really great for us. We're really happy with this. For the most part, they are doing uh, videos and reels. Occasionally we will have a photo. Um, some photos also have QR codes on them. So if somebody you know wants to scan it, they could go to their website that way. It's just another way to kind of connect things together, new things we're trying for this client. He was very open and eager to trying new things and getting more business because he's been, he's been happy for a while. Inf in information is key when it comes to any form of marketing, especially social media. So we provide a lot of info while kind of passively advertising ourselves right. We can see the, the client soft washing and doing his thing, soft washing in action, if you will, but also you're getting information about what kind of surfaces would be good to soft wash or, or what have you. Um, and these videos, you can't see the views here because I'm showing you this on my desktop, but if you look on your phone, um, it is much easier to see the views. Um, a lot of these videos will reach five to 10,000 people easily with little to no ad dollars. Um, he does have a pretty modest ad, ad spend where we can essentially boost posts, meaning put ad dollars into posts. Like we don't have enough of a budget to do a full ad campaign yet. That is something we are going to, where we could do A-B testing or cross testing. That's where you take a, a certain variable and test it against something else um, to see what, what works, what your audience likes, what they don't like. Um, but our content is, is generally very effective out, out the gate, especially when you have video like this that we were able to, to uh, some of it we shot for him, some of them we shot with him, some of them he sent to us, but anything we've gotten from him is just, it's almost as good as the, as the quality that we would do uh, because he uses 4K video equipment for that. So having raw video that is very high quality to work with and it's interesting and dynamic from this first person view, which a lot of people like, but they're not doing enough of themselves, it gives him an edge. Um, and it gives us a lot to work with and a lot to play with. So even going organic with these posts, meaning little ad dollars, we're able to reach five or 10,000 people sometimes with these posts. And maybe here or there we put 20, 30, or $50 at most into a, a post to boost it across um, further channels. And we do a lot of Facebook group interactions for this client as well. Um, we share it across Facebook groups in his area. This particular client services mostly Wakiva Springs, Florida, Apopka, Florida, Longwood, Florida, Altamont Springs, Florida, and he's done Orlando and Winter Park, Florida as well. Just basically all of Central Florida with the circle, if you will, starting in Wakiva Springs, staying more in that, um, in that general area. So we're able to get local people regardless of not doing a lot of targeting just because we are very efficient with what we do and we understand the market. We, we live in the area as well, so that helps. And the Facebook group shares that we do are only exclusively with groups that are localized, very active, and they care about the kind of subjects that we're talking about without it being saturated by a lot of other competitors. And no matter the Facebook group, you're probably gonna have some competition there, at least sometimes, um, but we're, we're kind of going for the, the best overall average of um, interaction and active viewers and things like that, and hopefully less competition. 
Um, and that's been helping him significantly as well. Um, he has typically an older audience, which is growing with them. Some of them are getting younger too, but um, the you know older aspect of his audience, they especially like Facebook groups for the same reason why they like, they like LinkedIn and Nextdoor, which he's also on, or Yelp, because it's a little bit more um, interactive. It's less focused on... Um, you know, you posting as an individual person, if, if you're on, um, you know, if you're on Facebook, like, and you're an individual person posting, it's really hard for people to, to see your content. I mean, business pages do a lot better, but I digress. Here's some more reels that we did for them. Again, like the POV stuff does really, really well. I'm just going to kind of scroll through so you can see some more of our work. If you're interested, and if you have a cleaning company, we could do this for you. If you don't have video like this or don't want to shoot it on your own, we can we can provide videography and photography services. Generally speaking, when I shoot on site, I like to have um, a few different things booked in the same day, like spend the whole entire day shooting. That way we have months of content, but it really comes down to the, the, the prep, um, your budget, all that good stuff. I have taught people from afar how to film their own content and it at least gets them to a better point um, than they were before. So it's definitely um, something that you guys need and a lot of you are lacking and you're saying, hey, I'm posting every single day. I'm not getting any results. Well, maybe you're posting greeny photos or you're posting a photo and not a reel or a video where it's hard to see what's going on in the video. There's no call to action or there's no information giving or anything like that. There's so many reasons why you might not be getting the kind of engagements that, that you want or the kind of followers you want. Um, use our tips and, tra and, and tactics, see if it works for you and let us know if we can help you. I mean, we don't just service Central Florida, we can service clients all over the world. This is just where we're personally located and we're an online digital business. So we can work with anyone just about anywhere. As long as you have a good concept for your business, if it's new or an, an existing business that you know, provides good work ethically, then we can work with you. Cleaning companies, pressure washing, soft washing, pest control, lawn care, tree removal, things like that is kind of a little bit more of our bread and butter um, in terms of volume over the last couple years. But we've worked in, I mean, probably 20 different industries, maybe if I'd have to sit there and think about it for an exact number, but quite a lot. So there's not a lot I haven't seen or been involved with in terms of industries, unless it's just out of preference or just kind of happenstance. Um, also, it's worth noting that these YouTube videos, they also get cross posted on his Facebook, like we said, his website, all kinds of different things. And we can use clips from these YouTube videos and reels for other platforms and drive traffic back to the YouTube channel, which circles back to the website. It's, it's all connected, guys. We did some amazing work in the last few months with thumbnails for them too. They've seen a lot of organic traffic increase with this. And again, modest ad spend with this platform as well. Their YouTube ad spend might be as little as two, 300 a month as well. So if, uh, between multiple platforms, I don't think they've ever spent more than 500 a month in ads. And that is saying something because typically speaking, you're gonna start at that to see these kinds of numbers. And that's just an estimate. Sometimes we've worked with less. I don't. I don't use um, hundreds and hundreds of dollars of ad dollars in this account unless I have to. I always kind of carry it over, use it for something else because that's what the client wants. He has a certain benchmark of views that he'd like to hit and he wants to spread that money out evenly so it's consistent um, until he's you know ready to upgrade, do some more. Um, then we'll talk about it then. So that, that's kind of like what we're working on. We also do YouTube community posts for him. A lot of companies do not do that because they don't even know how to use this function. It is essentially kind of a little bit like a Twitter post on YouTube. Um, we're just text only, you know. If you're active on YouTube, you, you use the community section, so that's important. And also here's his analytics, which is connected to TubeBuddy. This is a third party uh, vendor. We don't, you know, we don't, we're not sponsored by them or anything like that, but you can see that, you know, this is not us faking it or anything like that. This is from another platform. Um, he's got over 114,000 views of just 88 videos, which is not a lot for YouTube. It's quite hard to get video views on YouTube, even just a few hundred. So breaking through the, uh, the algorithms and doing our thing, we're very pleased with this. And also it shows you what keywords we're ranking the most for through 
um, TubeBuddy's awesome analytics and that particular plugin is free. I, I don't have a paid version with them right now. Um, their Twitter is functions similarly to their, their YouTube and, and Facebook. There are some differences, right? Because you have the ability to do GIFs built in. So we do some extra posts there. Um, they typically get like 20 to 40 posts a month on social media or on Facebook rather. YouTube is only like one or two a month. Twitter ends up being like closer to that 40, sometimes more, just because sometimes we're posting multiple times a day, just because the GIF function makes it just so easy to throw out a post and um, they give us, you know, wiggle room to do that and kind of get creative. So you'll see when things come up in the moment, Twitter is the place to put out the information. So with this hurricane thing that we've dealt with recently, we wanted to inform our audience what was going on and we were able to do that very quickly and efficiently on Twitter and, and it got views. So, um, all right. And then their uh, Yelp channel, this is all connected to their website, you know. Yelp is kind of cut and dry. Um, most of our reviews that we're uh, focused on for this client are on Google. However, um, we can show you their Google business profile right now. Um, the Google reviews or any Google reviews are coveted, um, much more so than um, anything else really. So you can get reviews on, on Yelp, that's great. I feel like it's a little bit more um, important for something like restaurants, you know, cleaning like Google reviews is really what most people are gonna look at based on our, our research and our understanding of our audience. Um, so, you know, in the last few years, we've gotten some reviews, 21 reviews. We'd like to increase this a lot more as well. Um, the problem is that this this client, like I said, he uh, he has an older older audience. So sometimes that could be tricky for him. But we're working on new things to, to get reviews. There was one that just dropped two hours ago. We're trying like a new method um, with gathering views. And so far it's working. That just launched like literally today and we're already getting some reviews. All right, so this is like a basic, very, very, very basic rundown of what we've been working on recently for this client. There's a, like we said, there's a plethora of things that we've done for them. Logo revamps, complete website revamps, the website did not look like that when we took it over, um, and so many other things. So if you want us to get into more detail about what we did for this client, or maybe even do some kind of a, a digital remote audit instead of one in person if you're busy, like I'm open to that. Um, I just wanna help people and I wanna get the message out there about what we do. So if you or somebody else you know is in need of digital marketing, branding, social media advertising, content, video editing, the whole nine yards, reels, um, story posts, literally the whole nine yards, give us a call today at 407-334-9378. Again, that phone number is 407-334-9378. We have all the gear to shoot for you. We can edit the content. We could just do strategies. Really up to you, the sky's the limit. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.